the Lord. God bless you. Welcome to the third day of our revival with the Holy Spirit. And um, I pray that God will speak to us today and turn things around and we shall all experience the great turn around in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you that you are a loving God. And you are God who answers by fire. Please accept that praise and worship in Jesus' name. Father, as we go into your word, please speak to us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I want to bless God for the first two days. And um, some of us can, if we're in the group, you already see the testimonies of what God has started. And that's just the tip of the iceberg of what God has done. Numerous things that God is going to do afterwards so let us continue in his presence and see what the holy spirit will do today today the holy spirit wants us to speak from the book of acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 and when the day of pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place I want us to understand that the day of Pentecost needs to fully come for each and every one of us. If the day of Pentecost does not fully come, you will not see the power of the Holy Spirit come suddenly and totally on you. You have to have started work preparing the ground for the day of Pentecost. And the day of Pentecost is the day the Holy Spirit comes fully in the life of a person. I want you to understand that the, 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 the disciples set themselves apart. They left the world. They followed Jesus. And at a certain time of following Jesus, Jesus said, the time has come for you now to receive the same thing I received that made me a star. 
The same thing that was inside of me that made me wonderful, that made me powerful, that made me untouchable for the devil. The same thing that was inside of me that miracles was happening. Now is the time for you to have access to the same thing. And so the day of Pentecost fully came on this day as it was recorded in the Bible. And they were all gathered in one accord in one place. Brethren, tonight as we go into the program, we have been praying day one, day two. Tonight the time has come for the full manifestation of the Holy Spirit to come. So in the life of somebody, I want to say congratulations because tonight we become your day of Pentecost, fully manifested. The power of God wants to come down like never before. It is looking for a place to express itself. Jesus Christ told the disciples, I am going to the Father and it's important that I go because the superpower that makes a person wonderful will not be released until I went. So Jesus Christ went during the time of um, over some days ago. If we are to look at it now, um, the, the Pentecost came about 40 days or so after Jesus had gone was when they gathered together and the promise of the Father came. So it took a while. It was not just two days, not just three days. It was quite a while, some weeks later. Then the power came, fully manifested, and it has been here since then. But it depends on your preparedness that you receive your own Pentecost. It comes at different days. I will never forget the days when my Pentecost came, when I felt the presence of God like I've never felt it before. And suddenly my life began to change. And it was in that process that I started knowing Jesus more. I started getting hungry for the word of God. I started hearing. I started seeing. And from there, it led me to start the prayer group. And here we are today. Your Pentecost, once it comes, your life will never remain the same again. And I want to tell somebody that by the grace of God, today is your Pentecost. And receive it by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. So we have to be gathered in one accord. The Christian gathering is a gathering where we all come with one accord. One thought. One desire. To see God. To receive of God. To learn of Him. And to become like Him. The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 29 that to him he first predestinate to become, to conform to the image of his son. So the reason why we are all coming to pray, the reason why we are all here, the reason why we are supposed to go to church, the reason why the pastor is supposed to come to church, and the choir is supposed to sing in church, and the orchard is supposed to watch in church, and the, 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 the whatever department, prayer department is supposed to do their prayers, and the Children, teachers are supposed to do their teaching. The only reason why we are all doing this in church or coming for a prayer group or having a prayer group or joining the prayer group is so that Jesus can be confirmed in us and so that on the last day we can make it to heaven so that we can become like Jesus. So we want to know more of God. We want to understand more of God. We want to serve more of God. We want to love more of God. And we are all gathered in one accord. Brethren, I pray and I hope that tonight in our meeting will be one of the first times in a long time in a Christian garden when we all come together in one accord so that the power of God can come down like never before. Yesterday with my wife I saw the manifestation of the presence of God in the life of somebody close to me that is not me. I have been the one seen feeling the manifestation. Yesterday night, my wife was by my side in the prayer while we were doing the Zoom meeting, and the power came upon her, and she felt the presence of God. Now it is time for not just me and my wife and some few people, everyone connected to this prayer house, I want all of us to feel the presence of God. And the only way we can all feel it is we have to fulfill the conditions. 
If we do not fulfill the conditions, we cannot have the presence and the enveloping of the power of the Holy Spirit as we should have it. I want today to become the Pentecost day for the prayer group. I want today to be a day when the power of the Holy Spirit will visit everyone, everyone. Many of us are yet to feel the power the way it should be felt. And that's why we play and joke with God, because we have not felt it. We have not had a one-on-one -on -one experience with Him. We've had feelings. We've seen small visions. We know we've had dreams. We've had voices. But it is still far from having the Pentecost, the coming down of the Holy Spirit in His person. Coming out in his majesty and taking over your environment and your body. We have not had that feeling and I want us to have it tonight. I pray to God Almighty that God will prepare you. God will prepare every one of us tonight to receive fully of the Holy Spirit. So, it's going to come when we are all in one accord. And I need to explain this to us very well. When somebody A is coming to church because A hey, wants to come and prove that I can sing, then B is coming to church because B was the one that paid for the service. He wants to see what he paid for. And C is coming to church because C has prepared the message and C wants to preach the message. Ah, the church must know that I am the pastor and I am good in grammar. I have grammatically arranged the message for today. And D is coming to church because he's looking for a wife. Then E is coming to church because he wants children. Then F is coming to church because he's tired of life and he's looking for where to go. And there was nowhere else to go but to church. In such a situation, we are not gathered in one accord. And that is what is happening at various prayer gatherings today. We are not gathered in one accord. We are gathered in scattered accord. Oh, no, there's no scattered, there's no accord there. We are gathered scatteredly. We are all not under the same thoughts, under the same need, under the same reverence. Some people came to church, come and test God. Some people came to church, come and do all kinds of funny things. So we are not in one accord, and that is why in the church of today, we don't see the manifestation of, of God as we should see it. We don't. Brethren, when I go for services and we say God is here, oh, God is here, many times I am not happy. Because when God should come in his fullness, everybody, brethren, everybody will have a testimony. Everybody will have the feeling everybody will be enveloped. Check this place in Acts chapter 2, the story from verse 1 to verse 4. There is, it did not tell us that the Holy Spirit came and fell upon the ministers. It did not tell us that the Holy Spirit came and fell upon the singers. It did not come and say the Holy Spirit came and fell upon the pastor, the leader, Brother Peter. Then Brother Peter alone felt the presence. And the fellow church members were saying, Ah! If you know our pastor, Brother Peter, hey, if you see Brother Peter when the Holy Spirit came upon him, ha, Brother Peter was just prophesying like this, ah, hey, our church is good though, our Brother Peter is anointed. That was not how it was. It was not one, it was not two, it was not three, it was not four. The Bible gave us a count that there were about 120 of them, and it did not miss anyone, not one was there that was an onlooker it came upon everyone and the life of everyone was not the same again the bible says that they were so touched that five thousand people have to come and say we are joining this church you guys were locking yourself in the room before but we are converting it into a campground it's no more hidden you guys hid before you were nothing but when the power of the holy spirit came upon you you became massive Brethren, tonight is a night that I want us to go to God in one accord. One accord. I don't want you to come with various thoughts in your mind. Don't come as a woman and say, eh, let us connect. Let's say that my husband will somehow, somehow know Jesus. Or as a husband, let's connect. Maybe 
But that family will preach something that will touch this woman today. Yes, she needs to she needs to hear the word of God and obey her husband. It's not the time for you to come for your selfish reasons. It's not for you to come for for you to come and satisfy your selfish longing and your selfish heart desires. Tonight is a night where you have nothing in your heart but God. Holy Spirit, I just want you. Holy Spirit, I just want to have you. Holy Spirit, I just want to know you. Holy Spirit, I just want to be one with you. Tonight is that night. It is not a night you come with stolen funds and hope that you can, you can you know, pay it into the church so that uh, it can be reversed and prepared for and be cleansed for you. Tonight is not the night you come and sit in the house of your boyfriend and you say you want to connect to God. Tonight is not the night when you are fighting with your spouse and you want to say you want to come and connect with God. Tonight is not the night where you have told lies and you are, you are not ready to stop telling the lies and you still want to come and connect. It doesn't work that way. If you are in that category, just, don't bother to have our number. I've always told you we're not looking for big number, crowd, massive people, everybody, everywhere full and yet there is no power. We don't want that. We want the raw power of God tonight. And if you are in any of these categories I've mentioned, or you are living a life of sin, you can repent today. The sin has not helped you. It's not going to help you. It is preparing a trouble for you in the future. But you can repent today. Come to him today. Surrender today. And come and join us in one accord. And receive the presence of the Lord. The son of uh, the, uh, Pastor Kumui, one of his sons that has been a thorn in his flesh, accepted Jesus Christ. And he accepted the right way. Because today, when people say they have accepted Jesus Christ, I will have to ask them again, how do you accept him? Do you just accept or you have really and truly accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior and the master of your life? So he accepted Jesus totally. And the power of the Holy Spirit came, his Pentecost came, and he started speaking in tongues. But he was not speaking in all this kaba 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 type of tongue. He was speaking pure Dutch. He doesn't not understand the Dutch language. He has never spoken Dutch in his life. But when the Holy Spirit came upon him, he started speaking pure Dutch. That is how it can manifest. You know, nowadays I've been to churches, I was telling my daughters of when I was thirsty as a young child and I wanted to know God and I went to a church, I told the pastors and the ministers, I want to speak in tongues. And they added me to a class of speaking in tongues. And in that class, they, they invited us and said, um, oh yeah, sit down, repeat after us. Say shandala, shandala. And they were trying to teach us how to speak in tongues. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That is not, that is not how it works. The Holy Spirit will come and will manifest in the way He wants to manifest. Not in the way you thought He will manifest. Many of us have not seen the manifestation at all. You have never experienced. Some of us, some of us have been born again for 30 years and you have never really experienced what it is like to have the day of Pentecost. I want to congratulate you because your day of Pentecost has come today. If only you can come and join us in one accord. In one accord, brother. Not in two accord. In one accord. So it is important tonight that you prepare for the program tonight by being in one accord with every one of us. And where are we in one accord? We are coming to the presence of God just to receive from the Holy Spirit. Come and perfect me. Let the will of God be done in my life. And this word means nothing to me again. God, you are my number one. If that is your thought, if that is going to be your prayer, if that is going to be your, your act desire tonight, then let's come together as we come to pray. Tonight, I don't know how we're going to do it. We want to make it available for as many people as possible. So, we, I will, by the grace of God, I will probably put it out on, we'll have a uh, Facebook video at the same time with a Zoom video meeting at the same time. 
we'll be using a, the mix layer to send the, uh, the radio station out. We're going to try everything possible tonight to ensure that as many of us can join. If Zoom is not working, try your Facebook. If Facebook is not working, then download the mix layer radio app, internet radio app, and listen on the radio. However you want to do it tonight, I want as many of us to come together in one accord in the presence of the Holy Spirit because our day of Pentecost is fully come today. And I pray that you will receive it fully tonight in Jesus' name. So I want you to pray to God this evening and you're going to talk to God and say, Father, please help me to be in one accord with every brethren tonight. Help me to take my mind away from the things of this world. Help me not to come to this prayer meeting because of my selfish desires. Help me to come just because I want to receive of you. Help me to surrender to your will totally. Help me to give in to you fully. Let your love, your desire, and the desire to become conformed to Jesus be the thing in my heart as I come into your presence tonight. Holy Spirit, don't give me half measure. Don't give me quarter measure. Give me the full measure I need for the race in my life. I want you to pray that prayer after this video. And God will prepare you for a wonderful time in His presence tonight in Jesus' name. I will tell of a short story again of a young lady in 1900 when she received the power of the Holy Spirit. A Jew was coming to Azusa Street to come and laugh at them, to make jest of them. That was what the, 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 the Jew was coming to do. But as he was about to enter into the prayer ground, a young lady of about 15 or so years received the power of the Holy Spirit and started blasting in tongues in front of this young man. And the man was hearing the Jewish language and she was speaking to him. And the man was converted there immediately. By the time the man got out after the service, he called the girl and started speaking Jewish language to her. The girl said, sorry, I'm an English girl. I don't understand what you are saying. He looked at her and said, no, you were speaking Jewish language to me of recent. And the girl said, sorry, I don't know what you are talking about. <laughs> I am I'm an English girl. That is what the Holy Spirit can do. I'm trying to say this so that you can know what to expect. Because many of us, we, we will block the Holy Spirit with our limited expectations. Some of us are expecting to speak in tongues like our Father in the Lord. Like I discovered in, today, in today's church. Members now speak in the tongues of their general verse here. So when you say kaka, ku, ku, kaka, you see all the members too, kaka, ku, ku, kaka. That is not how the Holy Spirit works, brother. Many of us are even speaking in tongues that doesn't go anywhere. It is time to surrender tonight to receive fully of the Holy Spirit. I had a testimony yesterday. We were having an, an house fellowship in our house. And God asked us to invite a sister to come. She is not too good in English. So she came for the house fellowship. She sat down, listened to everything we said, and went back home. But she, truly speaking, she did not understand everything I was saying. The English I was speaking was too big for her. So she didn't understand what we were saying in the house fellowship. But she was just there shaking her head and saying, hmm, hmm. By the time she got home, she cooked, she did all her house chores, she joked with her husband, then she went to sleep. In the night, the Holy Spirit now took my image so she saw me in the dream but it wasn't me of course because i was sleeping in my house with the holy spirit and sat her down and now in yoruba the language she understand started teaching now again afresh everything i said in the house fellowship so this is the bible verse they read this is what he said as also place this is how we said it this is the explanation. These are the examples. The Holy Spirit sat her down and taught her afresh. Everything we said in the house fellowship. Brethren, that is how the Holy Spirit works. <laughs> I don't know how much to explain it to us. Many of us have been bastardized with the, with the um, fraudulent uh, and uh, an human designed way of explaining the Holy Spirit. And it is erroneous. And that's why we have not been able to receive fully from God the fresh things that God has. 
God is a God of... <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to use a word now that I just found myself. I just heard the word now. I'm going to use that word. Aramandios. It's an Aramandios God. It's a new word. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It's an Aramandios God. It's a God that wants to... Ah, God help me with English. He wants to manifest himself in various ways. He wants to share Ara in Yoruba. He wants to... If you understand it, you understand what I'm saying. He wants to manifest himself marvelously in many ways. It's not stereotype that you must do it like this. You must be like this. It's, it's not like that. He wants to manifest himself. We are the one that have caged God and put him in a bottle and say it has to be like this. This is how the pastor says it is done. This is how he did it in the life of so it must be that way. God is, cannot be tied to one way. Jesus walked on waters. Jesus asked a person to pick up his bed. Jesus spit on the floor for somebody. Uh, Elijah did not die. Shout of fire took him up to heaven. Uh, Elisha used his uh, apron, divided the Jordan. Whereas in the time of Moses and, um, um, and Joshua, the time of Joshua, it was stones they put. That God wants to manifest variously. We are the one that have caged him and said it has to be like this. But then I just pray that tonight you will have the full expectation and expect God in whatever way he wants to prove himself and see the way God will move. Don't tie God to a bottle of coke or to a bag of rice. Expect him to manifest in whatever way and you will see his manifestation. Let me pray for us as we prepare for the service tonight. Heavenly Father, we bless you, we glorify you, we exalt your name. We thank you, God, that you are a prayer answering God who answers by fire. Father, I commit us to your hands. Help us not to use our human reasoning to stop your manifestation again in our lives. Help us, O oh God, to surrender everything to you and come to receive of you. Don't let us come together again to damnation, to sin and to error. Help us to come in one accord just to receive of you, just to learn at your feet and just to conform to the image of Jesus. Holy Spirit, don't give us half measure. Don't give us quarter measure. Don't give us permissive measure. Give us your perfect full measure, even as we come to you. Let our Pentecost day manifest in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you very much. God bless you as we pray. You can go into your prayers now.